In the previous lesson, we looked a bit at the git add command, but in this lesson, we'll be diving deeper into what exactly the git command is. A simple definition of the git add command is it is used to add changes that will be included in your next commit. Or another way to say it is that it is used to add changes to the staging area of your repository. But what exactly does this mean? What exactly is a staging area? In the previous lesson, when we looked at commits, I mentioned that you can think of a commit as a new version that you want to create. It might be the first version, it might be the second second, third or fourth version. But before you create a version, you have to first tell Git what changes you want to include in that version. Now, so far in our project, we have two versions which you can find the summary of in uh, .git logs and head. So these are the two versions we have so far. This is the first version. This is the commit message. This is the second version and this is the commit message. Now let's say we wanted to create a third version of our project. Maybe in this third version we introduced something in api.py, another new feature. Then in script.js we change a line of code. Maybe in style.css we remove a style. Think of any changes that you can make in your project. Now we want to create a new version that is going to include these changes that we have made. When you run git status, it says that changes not staged for commit. And then it shows these two changes, api.py and script.js. If you remember, these two files are now tracked and that is why Git can tell us that these files have been modified. But in the case of style.css, it doesn't tell us modified because it is currently on track. So Git doesn't know whether it has been modified, whether it has been deleted. It doesn't know anything because it is on track. Now, when you want to add these new changes to a new version, this is where you use the git add command. And with the git add command, you can either do git add api.py and then you do git add script.js or you can do git add api.py script.js and any other file that you want to add another thing you can do is git add dot so dot here is going to mean everything in this directory which means it's going to add the changes you have made in api.py script.js style.css test.java and this random.test.js this is what the git add dot would do so dot is just like current directory add every new change in the current directory so now if i do git add dot i'm not going to do that yet but if i do git add dot it's going to add this 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 and this to the staging area but i've been saying staging area a lot so what exactly is that now let's just do git add api.py script.js and style.css we have added these three files to the staging area i can still do git add something else if i want it now let's do git status this here is the staging area the staging area is that area of your repository where you have the changes that you want to include in your next commit in your next version and that is why git says it here that changes to be committed so now if i should run the git commit command it is going to include these changes in my commit again this is the staging area this is where you have staged changes that you want to include in your next commit these ones here are on tracked files so now if i should run git commit and hyphen m with my message and let's just say add authentication this is just an example now when i do that it is going to add these three changes in my new version now if i should clear and run git status you can see the only changes we have in our project so far are test.java and tests and if we go back to .git's logs head now we have three versions we have the first version with the message of add initial files the second version add abc feature and the third version with add authentication so i hope this helps you understand the git add command better now let me show you another example let's say we did git add dots remember git add dot is going to add every new change into the staging area if i do git add dot now if i do git status you can see it has added these two new changes that haven't been modified it has added these changes to be committed which means it has added it to the staging area let's say i come back to api.py and let's say i remove a feature now if i should run git status you can see our staging area still contains these two changes but here you can see 
changes not staged for commits. That means we haven't added this change to the staging area and it shows modified API.py. And now I can create my new commit, git commits with my message, add initial tests. Then I press enter. Oops, I mistakenly pressed another character. And now we should have four versions of our project. We have this first version, the second version, third version, and the fourth version. And if I should come here now and I run git status, you can see we still have api.py because we didn't include api.py in the staging area. Remember when you run git commit, it is going to take the changes that you have in your staging area. But because api.py was not included in our staging area, running git commit only took the other files. And now when we run git status, it shows that this change here has not been added to your git history. So that's about it for the git add command of course there are a lot more advanced things you can do with the git add command but on a fundamental level this is how you'll be using the git add command together with the git commit command to create new commits or versions of your project